Is the Tour Box Elite really worth $280? That's the question I kept asking myself. I kept getting ads for this on Instagram and on Facebook, pretty much everywhere. And I thought this could really help speed up some things if it actually works how they say it works. Now this is not a paid advertisement of any sort. They didn't send me this device. I bought this with my own money. I tend to travel quite a bit for work. I take a lot of videos remotely. I do a lot of remote editing. In fact, I'll be putting up a video pretty soon about kind of my remote setup for when I'm editing and what I kind of organize my stuff like in my go bag, if you will. So I've spent about two days with the Tour Box Elite. I think I got it on sale for about $240. This thing is really heavy. It's a good build. It feels great, but I wasn't sure if it was actually going to speed up my process and make it worth it. <laughs> so I threw my stuff in my go bag. I went and I met a friend for some working and I took the tour box with me in the little carrier case that I also got with it. It packed really well. And when I got it set up, it worked really, really well. So I'm gonna give you the pros first. Pro number one is definitely the size. Very portable, very easy to pack. Doesn't feel like you're carrying a whole lot extra. Pro number two is it works exactly like they advertise it to work. You can shortcut keys, you can use the different knobs, the different buttons, program them to all of the different editing programs. I've used this with Premiere Pro, with Final Cut, with DaVinci and with CapCut Desktop, and it works really well. Another pro is that they've done haptic feedback for these knobs, so when you actually turn the knob, you can feel each frame that you're passing. Another pro is that you can fully customize what these buttons do, something called a macro, which is where you can go in and program the different buttons or combinations of buttons to trigger certain sequences with your mouse and with your keyboard. For example, something I do a lot of is podcast clipping, which then requires me to scale up from like a little ratio to, you know, full vertical ratio. And I find myself going through multiple clicks. So I programmed the side button and this first button, if they're clicked together, it clicks through every single step to scale it how I need it to be. And it just kind of cuts out a bunch of time. I highlight a bunch of clips, click those buttons, and it's pretty much done 80% of the sizing stuff that I need done. And lastly, the other pro is that it did speed up my time. It really did cut down how much I was looking at shortcut keys and, you know, I'm moving my hands back and forth. I just set this at my left hand. I'm right-handed. I used my right hand for the mouse and for just kind of space bar, press and play. And, you know, it sped up everything. I'll be using this all of the time, but that doesn't mean that it's without its cons. One con that's just kind of a preference is it does take just regular batteries. You know, it, it comes with, you know, two double A's, I believe. I wish it was rechargeable. I feel like for the price you could get a rechargeable battery going on, but that also could be seen as a pro that you don't have to worry about a battery going out. The other con is that it does have USB-C to connect to your computer, but in the box I got, I didn't even get a USB-C cord. Again, for the $240 that I paid, you feel like they could at least put in a nice braided USB-C cord. Another con is that the templates that they provided for Premiere and for Final Cut and all of that are not very intuitive. So when you actually unbox this and you get it connected with your computer, you have to go and download the program first that helps you program everything on the box. And it just isn't extremely intuitive. Now they have different tutorials to help you along with this, but I do feel like it could be a little more plug and go in some form or fashion, but I'm not a program designer. I'm a video editor, so I can't complain too much about this. So if the question is, do you need the Tour Box Elite? Maybe not the Tour Box Elite, but they have other versions of it that are more affordable and cheaper. But do you need those to edit? The answer is, no, this is one of those things where you don't necessarily need it to edit, especially if you're just starting out and you're just making a little bit of money doing video editing. Save your money, upgrade gradually. That's what I've done. I didn't need this at first. I don't need it now to edit, but it does give me some of my time back, which then allows me to edit more video and make more money. So from a business standpoint, 
I guess it makes sense for me to have purchased this at this point, but feel free to not do it for a while unless you just really like tech and you want one. So what would I give this? I give it like an eight out of 10. I think that I'm gonna use it every single day of my working life until something else maybe comes along and you know replaces it. I've got a link down in the description below where you can go snag this on Amazon. Again, this wasn't sponsored. This is just how I feel about the Tourbox Elite. Thanks so much. See you guys next time.